what's going on guys today I'm gonna be doing an oil change on the GTI it's already due for a service so I thought I'd show you guys how I get it done not like it's any different from any other cars out there but there's a couple things in this generation of GTIs that can definitely break or go wrong if you're not careful when taking them off for some reason Volkswagen decided to use plastic oil pan and drain plug that can easily break when you take it off if you're not careful the drain plug looks something like this I keep one laying around because I broke mine on the first oil change I did on the car so I figured I buy an extra one just in case of an emergency so I have this one laying around so there's a special tool they make for that drain plug that you can buy online for about twenty dollars but it's also doable with just a regular flathead screwdriver which I will be showing you guys how to do it just in case you don't have that tool that they make so yeah let's uh, go over a few tools that we're going to be using for the job and let's get started all right guys so first thing first safety always wear a good pair of safety glasses whenever working underneath your car you don't want rocks or debris falling inside your eyes and I personally like to use rubber gloves I like to keep my hands clean I know it sounds kind of weird for a mechanic not to like his hands dirty but that's just me so always a good pair of gloves uh, we have to put the car up in the air so for that we can either use a pair of ramps like the ones I have here or we can use the jack and a good pair of jack stands today I'm gonna be using the jack stands because my car is lowered so if I try if I try to use those ramps I'm gonna end up breaking the bumper and I don't want to risk that so I'll just play it safe and use this jack stands here you also need a good drain pan to catch all the oil coming out of your engine so always a good little drain pan like the one I have here nothing fancy we will be needing a 32 millimeter socket this socket's going to be used to remove the oil filter housing to get that oil filter replaced so a 32 millimeter socket for that along with a ratchet so that's that and for that drain plug like I said we can either use a flathead screwdriver like the one I have here I'll be showing you guys how to use this one in case you don't have this tool this is a special tool I told you guys about for that drain plug you can buy this online and this will me definitely make your life easier you won't run the risk of breaking that plug so if you want to spend the extra cash and get yourself one of these just search it up online and you'll be able to find those for the oil I'm going to be using Castro Edge 0W40 I like to use Castro that's just my preferences that's what Volkswagen uses at the dealership so I like to keep it consistent I don't like changing oils that's not for this car and for the filter I got this directly from the dealership it was about 12 bucks so not that expensive uh, I know they make some aftermarket but I don't know if there's any difference between the aftermarket and original filters there might be a difference in oil flow and I know Volkswagen's pretty picky with all of their stuff so I just buy it from the dealership themselves so yeah that's gonna be everything we're gonna be using for today so let's get the car up in the air and let's get started okay guys so we have the car off the ground now with jack stands so let's get started on the oil change first thing I'm gonna do here is remove the oil cap that way oil flows out of the engine faster so let's get that one off and we'll start draining the oil okay guys so once underneath the car that's what the drain plug looks like I don't know why Volkswagen would do something like that but that can easily break if you're not careful there is a small notch underneath here that one there so you gotta clip that out of the way in order to get that drain plug out so if you have a screwdriver and don't have the special tool I showed you you have to just put that screwdriver in there it's like that oh, my camera here is not focusing and you have to twist right off 
slowly so you don't break it. I broke mine on the first time. I was trying to do it in a hurry. So I end up breaking it. And if you have that tool, that special tool they make for this plug, you just simply put that tool in there and twist right off. It's that easy. And you don't run the risk of breaking that drain plug. So we're gonna take that plug off of there and start draining the oil. Okay guys, so we got the oil draining now. While that happens, we're gonna replace the oil filter. First off, we move this engine cover out of here, so just pop it right off. And with that 32 millimeter socket, we're gonna be removing that housing. It sits on the top of the engine, passenger side right next to the dipstick, so it's pretty, pretty obvious. Simply just twist that housing right off. Just like that and pull up. Keep an eye for all the oil draining down from the filter. So this is what it looks like here. Simply pull that filter out of there. And now we'll just clean this off. Make sure there's no rocks or anything that can possibly go inside the engine. Wipe that off real quick. There is a an O-ring here that you will have to replace. The new filter comes with one, so you already have it, might as well use it. It's this one here. So let me find something to remove this filter. And we'll get it off just like that. Put the new o ring on and pop your new oil filter in there just like that. And you are ready to go back in. So just line it up real good. And for some reason this one's not going on. Oh, there we go. Be really careful not to cross these threads. That would be bad news and you have to replace this cover as well. That's one more thing Volkswagen decided to use plastic on so when tying this down don't go crazy on it you'll feel it just click in so that should be more than enough to keep and not have any oil leaks so that's how you get this filter replaced all right guys so we are underneath the car once again all the oil is out of the engine so we're just gonna put this drain plug back in place it is recommended to replace this plug every service I've used mine for just over a year now and I haven't had any problems so I'll just keep reusing it until either I break it or it starts leaking but I would just do whatever you think it's right if you want to replace it or just reuse it either way so just get it started twist it and make that little notch click again and that's pretty much it. The drain plug is back in place. Wipe this oil off of here so you don't have any drips on your driveway or your garage. And that's pretty much it. We're going to go back up and put fresh oil on the engine. And we will be getting done here soon. Alright guys, so now we got the drain plug and the oil filter back in place. We're going to put fresh oil inside the engine. Just use a regular funnel, anything that you might have laying around. So let's do that. I believe this engine calls for 5.7 quarts of oil. I like to put six in it because by the by the time you turn on the engine, 
this filter housing is going to fill up so that will bring you back to the around the 5.7 so I just do all six cords okay guys so we have all the oil in the engine now make sure you drain that funnel get every little drop in there should be good put the oil cap back on and now you're ready to start the engine okay guys so after you run the engine for a couple seconds check your oil level make sure you are at the top or maximum point on the dipstick and it looks like we are just right there that 0.3 quarts you put in it like I say go back to the oil filter housing so you'll be fine putting in six quarts and that it's how you get the oil replaced on a 2016 or 2015 and up Volkswagen GTIs if you found this video helpful hit the like button leave me a comment don't forget to subscribe I'll be making a few more videos on upgrades I'm doing to the car so keep posted for that if there's anything that I missed on the video or something that was not clear enough let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions so yeah guys uh, I will see you guys on my next video